so here we are fishing again it's Friday the 12th of April today I finished work early thought I'd come down to Buscat for a couple of hours it's about half past three this place is open till seven o'clock so it says on the notice board so I thought I'd give it a few hours the only disappointing thing is you can't park in the car park where we usually park when we come fishing um, it's a bit boggy so we've had to go over into the main car park to park and walk across not too bad for me because I've literally walked out with a bag and a pellet waggler um, yeah sun is shining it's a lovely day if you haven't been a basket before it's a tenner a day you put it in a little honesty box and make sure you put it in the honesty box don't leave it on the side like some people do just put your um, registration number on the bit of paper and then put it in the little honesty box now I did hear that my furry friends have been down to this lake and uh, caused a bit of damage to the little otters they've been in one of the other lakes at Busker and apparently they've been in here but I've been down here for about 20 minutes now and the people across the lake there like they're fishing obviously carp fishing they've had a couple I think the old boy up near the bridge up there he's had a he's had one and there's a few down yonder down the lake so and they they're still catching so they are still catching the carp whether I'll catch them on a pellet waggler is another matter because I ain't no carp boy to be honest with you now now this lake if you haven't been here before was a it it's not very deep in places in fact it's an it's an otter's paradise if they are in here because if in some of these places it's only a couple of foot deep so this this top end over this end near the bridge you see my finger that's about two foot odd two foot and it runs down you might get seven or eight foot down the bottom end of the lake but that's about it and you never know where you're going to fish here really because sometimes the shallower ends fish better and sometimes the deeper end does so you never really know so i've settled on peg six today well today for this afternoon for a few hours let's see if we can't catch a few i'm flicking out the old pellets that's all i got some sinkers six mil sinkers i think they are and i've put a banded one on come to daddy so i've just had a chat with one of the subscribers he was behind me guy from shriven i can't remember his name what a nice bloke if only i could remember his bloody name but can't anyway so sheddy me and Sheddy will come here probably next week and do a a fish with some videos in a video with some fish in because uh, I know I'll have some time next week but today I'm on my own so we shall see if we get any action it's as I say, a lovely lovely day for it me on the camera well here we are into my first fish it's been a couple of hours now nothing major the old Mike Bradley's been down to have a to have a play. So that's the first fish of the day, so decent fish anyway. That's a little bream. So you know, not gonna break any uh, record with that. But it's a fish. Happy days. Here we are. Here's Andy, he's as a subscriber, that's what they look like. Don't put your fingers up, don't swear. He's gonna show you how to roll a fag all the way from Shriven. He's come to watch me. What a fuck bloke he is. He's my local dealer, this is, <laughs> this this is, is weed. <laughs> this is weed. <laughs> Still at it. I suppose it's about quarter to six now. I've had a fair few. Little bits and pieces, bream and things like that. Nothing to write home about, certainly no carp. They've caught a fair few carp across the road, uh, the other side of the lake, which is which, uh, be the left hand side. Um, and mind you, they've got a couple of rods out each and the, the old buzzers are going off. Um, so, I have seen a few caught. Can't see no signs of no otters today. It seems business as usual down here, to be totally honest with you. Um, yeah. The only problem is the little car park over there. 
can't park your car there anymore. You've got to park in the ha uh, house car park. So that's the only difference today. The sun's going down. Hopefully, I'll get a car before the end of the day. <laughs> So there's a little lovely little view for you down the lake we stood up just down from the the bridge so no otter problems today to report I've not seen any dead fish on the bank even to be honest with you it's been absolutely fine fished as I would expect it to fish today and so for a tenner a day that's good. Get yourselves down here. That's a lovely little bench. In loving memory of Bob Jones and Ken Crook. That's a lovely bench. Gone fishing. So, uh, there's your little honesty box when you come down to Busket. So, obviously, you come through your little gate, which you can at the minute because it's no parking in this field. It's a little bit boggy underfoot at the minute so you're sent round to the main car park just at the back of it but you can drop your gear around by the lake from what I understand and just walk across so there's your little honesty box there's a little view of the matches there I've got quite a few matches sometimes it's only half the lake booked as you can see Sun Sunday the 14th rag cut I've got it and Sunday the 28th rag cut again and May the 5th rag cut so they bought it three times but there's some matches on there in your honesty box so you pick your little flap up and inside it is some little envelopes with a pen put your car number on it or something to do with you your name and then pop it in this little flap and just put your tenner in there don't leave it hanging around on the side like some people do because it won't be there when you come back so that's it that's all you have to do and uh, there's some Little notes there. Peg 16, 31 and 32 are not available. The only difference I will say about this year than last year is, um, oh it tells you there, look, your name and car registration in deposit box. It's your responsibility to have, to have the correct change before commencing fishing. So don't get fishing and not paying basically. And that's something that's different from last year. Every day you can fish from 6 a.m. till 7 p.m. And it never had a time on it last year, as I can remember. You just had to dawn till dusk. So they want you off for seven. And there's a few of the rules there if you're interested. No blood worm, no live baiting. And uh, yeah. In fact, it says slightly different up there on the rules. When you look at the rules, it actually says from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. upon the busket fishing rule. So that contradicts itself a bit. So that's a little bit confusing. But anyway, I don't think anybody's gonna go mad if you're here till eight o'clock or anything, but that's just something I've noticed. What a lovely place it is.